Well, it's like we were out shopping together. All right, today I have a really fun video for you. Something totally not planned, very impromptu. I was out shopping and went into H&M. I go in there a lot. I never find anything, hardly anything ever. But I just went in there and found so many great things. I was like, let me film this because I like to share what I find with you. <laughs> Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz. And so I, you know, I have a lot of things that I tried on, so I want to get into it, but leave me your thoughts on this kind of format. I haven't done one like this before. So give me a like if you like it, thumbs down if you don't and a comment, some constructive criticism would be great so that I can make it better if you like this or don't. So let's get into it. So going shopping with me, had to stop and get a snack first. And this is what I wore for the day, just to show you real quick. And this was totally impromptu, not planned, but here we go. So the first item I picked up was this lovely, really soft, trench coat in like a cream color. It had a great drapey material. I tried this on in a large and I found it was a little bit big. I wanted to try a different size, but they said this was a return so they didn't have any more in stock. But I think I'm gonna pick this up in a medium because it was just, it felt so great and I love the length and color and great price. Okay, this short twill pea coat has a very much trench coat look. It was a little bit stiff compared to one that I picked up from Banana Republic, but really nice for the price. No pockets and a bit large, but cute. And then I tried on this faux suede trench coat, which I didn't love. It actually was real thin. And when I tried to belt it, it felt like the belt was gonna break. So I actually couldn't even find this to link it for you below, but I found another one that looks way nicer from Nordstrom. So I'll go ahead and link that one below. It looks nicer and you know better quality, but this one just looked really cheap. So not a good one in my opinion. Okay, this is the same short twill pea coat that the black one that I showed is, but I tried this on in a medium and I still think it's too big, but they also have this in a gray. So I think I'm gonna pick it up in the gray small cause I think it's really cute. It doesn't have pockets, but a great third layer and for 40 bucks, a good price. Okay, this one was really short and I couldn't find it online, but I found one with buttons, but way too many, but a nice weight. And I really actually ended up liking this black black long one. It has a gauzy material, real stretchy, not forgiving, and it was pretty thin, but I liked the slit. I felt it could be dressed up, dressed down, and just kind of another summer dress black staple that I felt I could do a lot with. So for the price, picked this one up. And then I tried on this shearing top, kind of spring flare dress and real forgiving in the lower area and fitted in the top. Kind of a classic, I would say, and a really lovely midi length and a good weight. And then I came across this sweater dress and I love sweater dresses and this one is an off the shoulder. I do not have an off the shoulder. I loved the brown and black mix. I love the sleeve length. A uh, black shirt dress was really, really thin, but I felt this would be a great staple for summer again. I like black kind of all year round and it was really, really thin, real lightweight, really liked the sleeves, how flowy they were. And, and then I came across this gorgeous, very screaming spring linen dress that I had to pick up in this beautiful floral. I think it's just a classic and a beautiful linen blend and it is lined, so I think a, uh, a classic that I can wear for several years. And then I tried on this kind of flower smocked shearing could, you know, the sleeves could go up or could go down. It was actually really polyester-y. So although it had a really cute, you know, design on it, I didn't like the fabric, but the length was good and it was a bit sheer as well. 
And then this green linen blend midi dress is the same as the floral, so just a different color. I tried this one on as well and really wasn't for me. Okay, and next up was this square neck top. I love the sleeve length. It was super, super soft, really like that. And then I tried on these baggy low rise jeans. I actually really liked them. They weren't too low, but they were way too short for me. And next up is this uh, linen blend pant, which was just not flattering on me, but a really lovely color and kind of thin. And then I went for these pink trousers and the color was lovely. They were thick. They call them a wide leg. They didn't seem wide leg to me and they were not forgiving on me. And always love to try on a white linen. I love the pockets, I love the draw steering. It has a button, but they were far too thin and too short for me. So then I went for this lovely cropped top. I really love the pattern. I loved the material, everything about it, but ultimately I thought it was too short. I kept having like my midsection show through, which I really didn't like, but I think it's really, really, really pretty if you have a shorter tor torso. Loved the color, this like rust deep color of these linen flowy pants, but they were way too short and a bit thin for me, but a nice lightweight material if you're looking for a shorter trouser. And I wanted to try on this satin maxi skirt. I actually already have one, but I just wanted to see the quality and it is good. So it is not sheer, which was an issue I had when looking for mine. I love the tone. Um, I would say the waist wasn't that forgiving, but for not having see-through and for this price, definitely a good skirt. Next, I tried on this ivory pleated maxi skirt. I like that it had the slits, but a bit sheer. It did have that underlayment, but I couldn't find it online, but I did find one in satin that looked actually better, nicer than this one. So um, I don't know about this one, but I did link one better that they had anyways. Um, so check that out. And then I love black, so I wanted to try on this maxi skirt, and it is so sheer, but so long. So if you wear a slip, it may work. And this was a linen blend uh, flared uh, skirt that I tried on. This pattern is no longer available. I really liked it, it wasn't too sheer. Other patterns linked below. Next, I tried these linen shorts, and they have a slight pleating, uh, I actually like the length and uh, they have belt loops and a lovely blue color. Um, I felt these were a little bit big for my legs, but if you have regular size legs, these would be a great option. This linen blazer was perfect. I actually have a few linen blazers. I haven't pulled out for spring yet, but I just wanted to try this. It's lined, it has a single button. I love the button size. It has very light shoulder pads, just a classic. And this was a lightweight, uh, kind of gauzy kind of shirt I tried on. I actually couldn't find this one online either, but um, just wanted to share that this is there if you see it in your store. And then I tried on this oversized linen blend. I really like the big cuff. I wasn't a huge fan of the contrast buttons, but if that's something you like, it is a lovely shirt at a really great price and a nice linen blend. I did go for the white linen blend uh, shirt because I like to have a few just in case they get dirty or use them for different purposes. I think it's great to throw on over anything in the spring and summer. And for this price, for this kind of a shirt, I think you can't go wrong. So a classic. All right, ladies, a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> this was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I can only get better at it, so be sure to leave me your comments below. Like, any feedback that you have would be great. You know, because I, I like doing this. It was like we were out shopping together, so I don't know, I thought it was kind of fun. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, then go ahead and leave a like so that YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it may potentially help. I wanted to thank you so much for popping in and spending some time with me on this fun try on outing. And I hope that you come back and visit me on the next one. And I hope that you have a really great day.